Today I will share with you my extreme minimalist wardrobe. I actually only own 20 pieces of clothing and this is not some type of capsule wardrobe. We have one different for summer, one different from autumn. And I live in the UK where we have both summer, spring, autumn, we have all the seasons. So if I lived in a summer climate that I think I could actually get it down even more. Now you might ask yourself, why would I only need 20 pieces of clothing? Like, what's the point of this? And I used to ask myself that very question. I was actually a clothes hoarder, you could say. I used to never throw away my clothes. I would just put them all at the loft. And <laughs> the clothes that I hadn't worn in like 10 years, I just couldn't part with them. For some reason, I really felt the connection to my clothes. Like they brought out memories. I was also obsessed with branded clothing and I would go on eBay. And during class, I would bid on different clothing from different brands. But when I became a nomad, I realized that this is completely unnecessary. And I only use about 10% of my wardrobe. So I decided to just get rid of the clothes that I actually don't use. There are three main benefits. The first benefit that I noticed when I did this is that I saved a lot of time. Because I used to go shopping around one day per week. Because it takes a lot of time going from store to store. And I've always been very picky with my style. I want something that feels good, that looks good. And that takes a long time to find. So now there is one day per week that I save, which is massive. The second benefit is that it saves money. So I used to spend around $200 per month on clothes, uh, minimum I would say, because I preferred branded clothing where most branded clothing are more than that for just one piece of clothing. Now I only buy clothes when I really need it. So if something breaks, for example. And the third reason is for the environment and for ethical reasons. So of course it's not very good for the planet with all these chemical dyes. And usually the working conditions are not great for the workers. So there are so many reasons to become a a wardrobe minimalist. And today I will show you that it is possible. You can have only 20 pieces of clothes in your wardrobe. Let's get into it. So here we have all my clothes. This is not including uh, my jacket and my shoes. And I also have a bag. Um, so this is just what is in my wardrobe. So the first thing we have is a crop top, which is nice for summer when it's really hot. Then I have just one t-shirt. I don't see why you would ever need more than one t-shirt if you already have a crop top. Then I have a cashmere sweater. I like to use materials that are high quality and cashmere is the most high quality um, wool. It is very warm for its thickness. As you can see, it's very thin. Um, but also very warm. I like this a polo sweater because when it gets really cold, which it does in the UK, um, this really warms the neck. And then we have just a very classic um, striped one. I like that this is, uh, has a, like a quarter arm uh, because you can use it for both summer, winter, autumn, I would say all seasons this would work. And next up we have an, another polo sweater. This time just a white one. Uh, so this matches really good to any color uh, trousers. And then I have another <laughs> cashmere sweater because UK can be very cold. Next up we have a hoodie. So I only have two hoodies. So this one is from Bamboo Clothing. And this one is so soft. Uh, bamboo is just my favorite material. It's antibacterial, which means you can use it for longer. It's also better for the environment. Um, and it's just the softest material. I love it. So I use this one all the time. And then my second hoodie is this one from Mayo Medicine. Um, also super comfortable. And next up we have my only trousers. Yes, you might be like, where is the jeans? Well, I hate jeans. For me, there is nothing more uncomfortable than jeans. So one day I just decided, look, I'm never gonna wear jeans again because it's my life. <laughs> so I just have these super comfortable uh, black trousers and they look quite fancy. They have like, um, like you see how they go out like this. So they look, would look great for a business meeting, but also just for being home. Uh, that's why I really, really like this. And next we have my, what can you call them? Like harem pants or yoga pants. 
Again, also from Bamboo Clothing. So comfortable. Um, this is also for just being around home or doing yoga. And next up we have my robe. So when I'm just chilling at home and especially during summer, it's nice to have like a cool uh, robe. And next up is my leggings. Leggings are my favorite thing to wear. I wear them when I'm working out, going for a walk or just at home working. So I have from Lululemon this one and then also again from Bamboo Clothing, a black pair super comfortable and then we have uh, another robe which is more for winter and autumn so it's a bit longer and thicker and then i have five dresses for the summer so i have a white one that is more like business like so it's like a tight one uh, good for when it's windy because it's it's tight and then these are more summer uh, friendly uh, with floral patterns i love red red dresses, so more feminine vibe here. Uh, and then I also have uh, shorts, as you can see here. I think they're from H&M for when I want to exercise outside, but it's a bit uh, hotter. So as you can see, it's all about having high quality clothing like cashmere, bamboo, organic cotton that will last you a long time and needs less washing. As you might have also noticed, these clothes all go with each other. So make sure to pick a color palette that easily go together. And then what I do when I find another clothing that I really, really want or um, I feel I need uh, is I simply remove and throw away, um, preferably donate to charities, um, a clothing that I feel the least excited about, that I wear the least. So I'll look through my closet and be like, oh wow, I haven't used this clothing in a year. And then I throw that away. So then I'm still left with 20 pieces of clothing. I'd love to hear about you. Do you see yourself as a minimalist? Do you love collecting clothes? What is your style? Let me know. Have a beautiful day.